just a moment. Let's see if we can get Rob Krieger. He's out at the scene uh, where we are seeing some flooding right now. Uh, I believe he's near the Octavia, uh, Octavia Street in the Broadmoor neighborhood. Let's see if we can get to Rob Krieger right now if we have him. Rob, can you hear me? Yeah, hey, Josh, uh, we just got out here this morning uh, in the Broadmoor neighborhood. This is Octavia Street. You can see some construction, obviously, has, has blocked the street off. But just past these construction signs here, uh, there is a ton of water that is just covering the road right now. Uh, we're going to walk to this intersection here, and it may not look like much right now, but this is um, at least a foot deep in some places. There were construction barriers that we saw uh, that were here. We can take a look over this way. Aiden uh, is uh, capturing some of these images for us early this morning. Uh, we're going to walk around this way and as you can see down the street right here and once you come right here so you can see uh, that white construction barrier has just been floating down the street uh, here at uh, Galvez and Octavia uh, so that just kind of gives you an idea of what uh, how deep that water is here in this location but we do know that some folks in houses here have gotten a little bit of water in their homes well I heard a report as much as five inches uh, a couple of blocks down we just got to this area and I was driving through the Broadmoor area and we saw a lot of sites just like this where you see a street covered in water now the the one thing to consider is that this is a, a street that is under construction right now so luckily there weren't any cars parked out here but all along other areas of Broadmoor we have seen more uh, places where cars are parked or getting water uh, this morning you can imagine it's a uh, one way to wake up uh, you, you come outside and you see your car flooded but then some other folks uh, were uh, had had water in their homes. Uh, I want to uh, come down here. Hey guys, uh, how, how long uh, how long has the water been standing like this? We're trying to figure out exactly about. Just, just since five, uh, at 5 a.m. it was fine. About 5 a.m. Yeah, okay. Fine All right. So uh, you, you come come over here real quick and uh, I, I chat with us real quick. Uh, you, you said about 5 a.m. You saw it, it was seemed okay, and then yeah. what what happened? What'd you hear? Uh, it was really loud last night around 6 7 a.m. Uh, and I think that's probably when it happened because at 5 5 30 it was fine. Uh, yeah, it's still a lot over there, uh, and some of the cars are flooded. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, if you think about that, that's really only a couple hours ago. We know as many, many as five inches of rain fell in some places. Uh, I mean, what uh, did you have you seen anything like this in a while? Obviously, it's been so dry. No, it's, it's been a couple years since this has happened. They're redoing the streets, so the drains are brand new, and the street is not on the same level as the drains. So uh, they probably didn't work as well as they should have. But, um, yeah, no, not in a long time, probably since, like, 2018. All right. It's flooded this bed. All right. Well, we appreciate you. All right. Looks like your home is uh, good. So that's good news, right? You're yeah. good? Yeah. All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I know yeah. certainly one way to wake up with water in the road and the news in your face. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, we, we did hear some reports from some folks down deeper in the Broadmoor area that did have water in their homes. Uh, I wanted to tell you we were driving through uh, Nash, excuse me, uh, Napoleon there coming through Broadmoor. And then the side roads all along Napoleon were blocked off. Residents had blocked off those roads to try and prevent people from driving through the water. So it's something you need to remember if you are making your way somewhere this morning, if you do need to get out of your neighborhood and there's water on the road, be very careful because there are folks who don't have homes who are raised uh, or their cars are right there on the water and you could send water into their property, into their cars if you are driving too quickly through there. We'll keep driving uh, We'll keep driving the, the show down this way, walking down uh, the water here. But you can see, so the, as you heard the gentleman there talk about the, uh, the, the roads um, obviously are under construction. So the drains are at a different level, and we are getting wet right here. Yep, there it is, right in the boots. All right. It is deep, and it is cold here in Broadmoor, but we're walking through this area to try and show you some of the effects of this uh, downpour overnight. Uh, we'll get you over here to the corner of, let's see, we're at Galvez and Jefferson here. We're clearly a lot of construction. Aiden, be careful uh, coming through here just because there is a lot of construction. Stay on this uh, orange side right here because there's a big dip Aiden hey guys how y'all doing you guys uh waking up to a mess this morning hey pop what's going on how y'all doing I'm um, doing all right yeah oh, what uh, where do you live you live around we live around the corner there what, on the what, side what, what have you seen so far any effects to your home yeah or? not the house we've had two cars that were flooded oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that uh, what, what time did you notice uh, this was happening 7 30 or so and, and how quickly did it happen for you? My wife just came and woke me up and said, Mike, it's completely flooded outside. We got a, we got a problem. And so we went out there. This is actually probably the 
third or fourth time it's happened, and this is probably the fourth car that we've lost now. Oh, we're up man. to four. Not lost. At this point, they're just wet. We've already pulled the shop vac, so we're uh, in in uh, prayer mode. Yeah, but it's a, a problem when it becomes old hat. That it's something you have yes. to do time and time again. Yeah, this, and, and we know why it's happening. I know why it's happening, but um, I don't know if anybody will do anything about it. So, I mean, why do you why do you think this is? Oh, it's all started. So this, we didn't have any trouble, any flooding at all since Katrina. None at all. Uh, the street was great. As they repaired up, I'll say upstream of us, the water was all clogged up there. Mm. So it's, it flowed slowly to us, and so we had a chance to clear out. Uh, our water cleared out. As soon as they fix theirs, it rushes down into this neighborhood and fills more quickly than it can get further upstream. So since they've fixed upstream from us, it rushes here quickly and, and the water comes up out of the drains more than it's going into the drains. Right. If we could explain where we are, Jefferson, uh, just a couple blocks off South Claiborne here, a notorious area for flooding down there. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if you, you understand that area, uh, this is something that is just, you think maybe just a product of the infrastructure that we have here? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So I, I don't know, you know, because they've already done the work, the repair work, and this has started after the repair work. Um, it's a little disheartening that, I don't, again, I don't think anything will ever happen. It won't get fixed. Right, and you look at this, it just looks like a bowl. It doesn't look like anything's flowing anywhere. This is, yeah, well, and it is. We can tell, like you can see the, the water lines on those uh, whatever plastic things are. Mm -hmm. um, you can see those water lines to know how high. I mean, it was probably four or five inches right there higher uh, than it is right now. All right, well, we'll let you go. Your pup is uh, probably doesn't want to be on TV anymore. Yeah, what's the dog's name? Uh, Brandy. And your name? Mike Daly. Mike, and what's your name? Caroline Daly. Caroline, Mike, thank you so much for joining us yep. this morning. We appreciate y'all. Uh, stay dry, I guess, and good luck with the vehicles. Thank Sorry you. to hear that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's the the look right now here in the Broadmoor neighborhood. Uh, as you can see, you know, folks are you know making their way uh, through the early Saturday morning. You know, for some folks, it may not be uh, as as fun of a way to wake up like the dailies here, but uh, they have their spirits about them, and we're going to continue monitoring the situation. We'll give you another look um, at uh, some other areas that are impacted right now. Just remember, drive slowly, be very careful, and be considerate of your neighbors here as you make your way out of some of these flash flooded areas. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Josh.